Колесо потеху! Now that was a clip from the stoning of Soraya M, which tells the true story of a young woman facing violence and persecution in an Iranian village. It is not only her story, but the story of women throughout Iran and other countries throughout the Middle East. Cyrus Norasta is the director of the film, and he joins me now. Cyrus, very disturbing, and um, this is a true story. Tell us about uh, how you got involved in this. Well, it's, it's based on a book by uh, an Iranian journalist who heard the story from the woman in the village just after this incident occurred. He's portrayed by Jim Caviezel in the film. And it was published as a book in the mid-90s. And it's probably the most notorious stoning incident that's ever been covered uh, inside of Iran. And of course, we know that stonings continue. Well, uh, first of all, you, you show the film, and it's fairly gruesome, and we'll show some to our audience, but she's literally buried, you know, halfway up to her waist. But at, and at different points, as you can see there, you know, it tells a story about her husband lying because he wanted to get rid of her and comes up with this plan and this plot and this scheme to get rid of her. And then the entire town turns on her and they even force her, her own sons to, to throw stones at her and her own father, you know, uh, uh, disowned her in this. Well, that's exactly as it happened, Sean. And what you have is a situation where the husband of the accused uh, woman, Soraya, and the local cleric and the mayor sort of conspire together to, in effect, frame her. And this is, this is how it took place. And it could only take place in a situation where the penal code in Iran allows for it. Well, that's what I want to talk about here, and that is... Um, this is happening and this is happening today. How common is this? Well, you know, according to Amnesty International, within the last year, eight women and one man have been sentenced to death by stoning. We know of a Reuters report in just May 5th recently of a stoning that took place. And one of the cast members in our film got a call, a long distance call from Iran recently talking with stoning in a nearby village. So we know that it goes on, and it goes on in a number of countries in the Middle East, uh, but the incidents in Iran are particularly notorious. All right, let, let's talk specifically about how the story became made public here, because uh, they actually, there was an interview with the people involved, and then apparently they got, they stopped the tape from going out, or so they thought, but there was a second copy. Well, what happened was the the powers that be in the village became nervous that the aunt of the victim was talking to this guy and they realized he was a journalist so they tried to stop him from leaving and in effect they were able to slip he was able to slip out past them with the right tape and he was able to tell the world this story so there is some triumph and hope at the end of this movie that the story got out and this movie is just the next extension of that story story being told you know, Cyrus, I, and I know maybe you don't want to get political because I, I actually, this is a very disturbing film and I want everybody to watch it. And it has not got, gotten the widespread uh, distribution that I think it deserves to get. I, I, I guess what politically bothers me and angers me is that when you look at, for example, all that American troops have done in Afghanistan to liberate women that were not, weren't allowed to go to school, weren't allowed to go to work, if, if you look at the same thing in, in Iraq and elsewhere, and the opportunity because of American sacrifice to free women from this tyranny. Where are liberals in all of this? Why, are, why aren't there more outspoken women's rights advocates in all of this? Well, you know, we're starting to hear from them thanks to this film. Uh, Amnesty International recently hosted a, a screening of the film in London. We are going into wider release this week and next. We'll be playing in theaters, uh, many theaters across the country. And uh, that was really the purpose behind this, Sean, to just let people know that this goes on and it needs to be addressed. What does it say about, because, for example, um, I looked at the comments of the father and, you know, when he disowned this, this daughter of his, and even though these charges were, were false that were brought against her of, of adultery here, you know, God help me kill this, quote, expletive that I won't repeat here, and then the husband throws the stones, then the, 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 the children of this woman end up throwing stones, which is child abuse in my mind. How, 
all of this is happening, how often is it happening? Well, you know, it's, it's hard to tell because the Iranian regime is, and they should be, embarrassed by stories about stonings getting out. And I think they should be embarrassed. And the more attention that's brought to bear on this, uh, many people have said to me that they're going to see this movie a as an expression of defiance toward the Iranian regime. They should be forced to face these issues and hopefully abolish stoning soon. Yeah, and one of the things they were telling the young boys in this film as well, this is a man's world. Is, is this the, the overriding view of most in, in these countries in the Middle East that we're talking about? Well, you know, that was partly a uh, backlash to uh, the days uh, under, the, under the Shah when uh, women were given their uh, freedom to come out from under the veil, to go to school, to study, to work openly. So when the Islamic uh, regime came into power in 1979, they wanted to sort of bring back all of these laws and, and attitudes going back to sort of strict Sharia law, which is basically means that it's a man's world and that women are second-class citizens. That's, that's what they were trying to reimpose with this revolution. Yeah, you know, and the, by the way, this is the... You know, the, all the freedom fighters in Iran that, that wanted to stand up against this corrupt um, election that took place against uh, Adolf Ahmadinejad, uh, you know, the president to say that uh, we ought not be meddling in uh, their affairs and all they wanted was a little bit of solidarity from the United States, I think it speaks volumes because that's what he would have been meddling against, right? Yeah, well, I, I, I think the Iranian people, their voice will be heard again and uh, hopefully will be better prepared to support them. Soraya M., great movie, Cyrus, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Sean. All right. In